Hey guys, so today I want to share with you uh, a story about how I manifested illness and wellness in my body. Now I'm going to share with you just one story. I have plenty of stories, especially after having gone through uh, having cancer twice and all types of stuff. But this is the most prevalent story uh, because it's just recently come to my conscious mind. So I wanted to share it with you and hopefully uh, this resonates with you as well. So I'm going to start the story uh, when I was 19, when I first saw The Secret with Esther Hicks. So I watched, I was given The Secret by a friend of mine. I watched it, totally transformed my life as you can see by these videos, they're on my web, they're on my page. So I started delving uh, into deeper into the Law of Attraction, bought all the Abraham Hicks books, read all those, and everything just resonated. Thought, yes, absolutely, I am the creator of my own life. I have the control, I have all the power, and I get to focus on only what I want. I can forget about everything that's ever happened to me and I can focus on what I want. Beautiful. Now, that's where the story begins. Because three months after I originally watched The Secret, my hip collapsed. So what I mean by that is if you've watched any of my other videos, my right femoral head, the bone in my right hip bone, uh, from, or the, the top of my right thigh bone that goes into the socket, uh, died and collapsed. So I was in excruciating pain up until this last year. So I'll be honest with you guys, I have not had excruciating pain in my movement patterns in the last maybe six months, maybe more, but six months, uh, and as you've seen from my videos, I can sprint and everything without pain now. So, what, when I first, when this first happened, I started thinking, what the fuck? I just started watching how to create and manifest my life, and then this happens, and this shows up. And so for the last 12, uh, 12 years up until about March, until about February, excuse me, I had been trying to re-manifest, re-manifest a healthy hip, re-manifest a healthy hip, re-manifest a healthy hip. And it wasn't until I did a process, which I talked about in my other video, How to Heal Your Body, Talk to Your Pain, uh, where I pretty much channeled my, bot, my, my hip pain and just felt what it felt like. I just put myself in my hip, became my hip, so to speak, and just said everything that I was feeling as a result of being there with my hip. And um, so I recognized that I was holding a lot of emotional trauma back. Then, this past two weeks ago, I watched a show with my wife we watched Wanderlust on Netflix, which is a very interesting show. And I'm not going to ruin it, but at one part of the show, at the very end of the show, this therapist pretty much tells this woman, you created this experience, this negative experience, as a result of not wanting to deal with this emotional trauma that happened to you. And all of these light bulbs went off in my head. And I started to, and I instantly realized that the secret was, my misunderstanding of the secret of the law of attraction created this excruciating damaged hip that, had, that I'd been dealing with for the last 12 years. And what I mean by that is, I had gone through chemotherapy, radiation, bone marrow transplant from the ages of 14 till 19. Not only that, but I had to witness the suffering of my parents, my brothers, my family members, and continuing on with that, the other children in the hospital their family members, their friends. 
So I had a lot of emotional, as you can imagine, I had a lot, I had a lot of emotional trauma. A shit ton of emotional trauma. And because I thought I needed to be stoic and proud and, um, and the grounded centered person, yeah, as much as I, na you know, now looking back at it, that's what I thought I needed to be. So I didn't want to show my emotional pain and I had therapists at the time, but even the therapists I wasn't a hundred percent real with, you know, I held back from them and they knew that they're, they're trained professionals. So after I watched this Wanderlust show, I thought, holy fucking shit. I manifested this hip pain as a result of not dealing with, as a result to kind of distract me if you will, from dealing with and accepting the emotional pain. But seeing as that pain is pain, and it has to come out of the body one way or the other, it came out through physical pain, i.e. my hip pain, instead of coming out through my emotional release of it. Now, why the law of attraction and my misunderstanding of the law of attraction influenced this is because instead of dealing with that emotional trauma, I suppressed it. I dumbed it down, right? I, I was like, nope, I don't need to focus on it anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. It's in the past. I get to focus on only the happy things now and only the things that I want, only things that I desire, desire which are is a beautiful way of fucking yourself over. <laughs> I love the law of attraction. Like attracts like. Our thoughts attract thoughts that match that vibrational frequency. Everything in, the, in our world is vibrational. We are attractors of that vibration. However, if we don't deal with the emotional traumas, they will show up one way or another. The thing about that is I knew that when I got sick because my grandma introduced me to all these psychics and naturopathic healers and all different types of people. And they all said the same thing. The reason you got sick, Zach, is because you held your emotions in. And so I thought, well, I can, I can express myself more. So I started to express myself more after the second diagnosis because I was fucking tired of doing all, dealing with all that stuff. But then I learned about the law of attraction. I was reminded of the law of attraction and I once again suppressed my emotions that showed up in my physical body instead of cancer this time as broken down hip because the anger and the sadness and the fear and the, and the things that I thought I had dealt with as a child, resentment, that were causing the cancer, I pretty much did deal with to a certain extent. I would say they're probably about 95% dealt with. But my hip was different. It was feeling the lack of the support from the universe, not being able to... Um, feel like I was grounded, not feeling like the weight of the world was on my shoulders, um, right? And so all these things, so the blood supply died and what happens? Because I wasn't supported, because I felt the weight of the world on top of me, my hip compressed and flattened. So, the moral of my story, and what I hope you learn from this, because here I am 12 years later thinking I'm some spiritual master in my own mind. My ego thinks I'm my own spiritual master. But I still had a lot. I had to assess. I had to enter into my shadows. 
I had to own my pain. I had to know that that was a part of me. And when I accepted that, I could love it more deeply. And as I began to love it more deeply and nurture my pain, my hip stopped hurting. And I started being able to sprint and run and without pain again and stretch in specific ways without pain that had been giving me excruciating pain for the last 12 years. So, the moral of my story is do your shadow work. Accept the emotional pain that you're feeling. Accept it. Own it. Feel it. Understand it. Talk to it as you would talk to anyone else. If you're having skin issues, if you're having bone issues, if you're having joint issues, my recommendation is not to avoid it and immediately try to get away from the pain and do whatever you can to get away from it, but authentically go in there. Put your mind in the pain in your knees, in your shoulders, in your hips, in your back wherever the skin disease or disorder you're going through, the eyes, whatever, whatever physical ailments you're dealing with, especially when it comes to pain, and just be there and sit with it and then say, and not even say anything, but feel what it's like to be that pain. And my recommendation would be to put on the voice memos on your iPhone and as you're feeling something, S express it, say it outwardly. I, f I feel lost, I feel sad, I feel like I'm not grounded, I feel like I'm not moving in the right direction, I feel like whatever it is, let that be your teacher and I will promise you, I will promise you that within days, within weeks, that pain will start to subside. And the more you nurture it, the more you listen to it, to it, the more you let it become your teacher, the faster it will heal. I promise you with all of my being that that is what will happen. I know it happened with me in multiple facets in my life, but the most recent one was this excruciating hip pain that I've been dealing with that I really wanted to share with you guys. You can heal your pain. You can heal your body. We are the manifestors of illness and we are the manifestors of wellness in our bodies. It's important to be reminded that there's only a stream of well-being that flows and we're either allowing that or we're not. The, the well-being in our body is flowing. So if there's imbalance, if there's dis-ease, if there's illness, it's because we're not letting that energy flow in one capacity or another. In my opinion, 100% of the time is caused by some form of emotional upheaval, emotional trauma that's yet to be dealt with. I'm no doctor, but I've healed a lot of issues in my own body. And every single one of them, the cause, the true root cause, was an emotional trauma. I hope this video helped you. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you liked it, please share it. Maybe somebody else could, could, could benefit from it as well. But yeah, I think I've said all I needed to say. I love hearing your questions, your comments, concerns. I will, uh, I'll address those maybe in future videos, but I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you.